please pause the video and take a moment to read this important safety message. Hey, welcome back everybody. We're going to call this part 5B, a few uh, edits and corrections to the uh, part 5 building the uh, power supply in the single ended KT88. And um, so I certainly got some feedback, not where I thought I would around <laughs> the filament wires, but more so on the act of uh, switching the neutral wire here. So I was trying to keep this thing as a close to the original kind of, um, you know, um, Abdullah, Janandro, Kegger kind of design. And um, in doing so, I certainly. Uh, deviated away from my typical standard, which I think I showed you guys in my uh, my notebook that I go to. The main reason I go to it in the notebook here is um, I always had to figure out from the back side of the IEC which one's hot and which one's neutral. Uh, but here, always go fuse, then switch, then transformer, come back to the other side of the transformer here over to um, to the uh, to the to the IC connector. So, at any rate, I have changed the design now, and now if you'll notice here, um, we have got the fuse in line first. Then we're going to switch. Then we're going to go into the transformer. And the reason for this is um, if you're switching the neutral side, and for whatever reason you have a short somewhere in your chat in your transformer, or whatnot, you can actually make the the chassis itself. Um, live um, with respect to ground. So if you gr if you grab something else in your house, maybe a, a faucet or something else that just happened to be grounded, and um, this thing was turned off, um, you still have uh, live current flowing in here, and you could uh, potentially get shocked. So um, it's always a better practice to switch the hot wire. That way, there's no potential um, of, you know sitting in the chassis even with it off. So. Anyway, we're going to rewire it real quick. I haven't done that yet, and so stay tuned. Okay, I thought I'd show you what I've done here. Now I'm coming out the hot wire, coming over to the fuse, leaving the fuse, then coming all the way around back up here to the switch again, leaving the switch, coming back down this black wire into one side of the choke, leaving the other side of the choke now coming over here, and you can see this blue heat shrink. I put a CL80 thermistor here on the neutral side of this, um, just to help with a little bit of the inrush of uh, voltage and current and uh, slow the heating heaters down just a little bit, warming up, and maybe drop a little bit, of maybe a volt or so on the uh, on the input of this thing. But um, as you can see, it uh, it cleaned up pretty nicely and wasn't wasn't that much hard of a change. It took me about 10 minutes. Um, as you can see here, also I'm uh, getting into um, <laughs> I'm getting into part six already here. So stay tuned. We will get to that quickly. Okay. One other thing, um, I've gotten some questions on the on my post already, asking a little bit about, um, hey, Mark, are you going to put a kind of a uh, some type of uh, filter cap or snubber cap here across the power switch? Are you going to put some bleeder resistors across these resistors to help bleed them off? Are you going to put some uh, some parasitic caps across the uh, these capacitors here? Things of that nature. And um, same, I had a question on, hey, you're going to put a thermistor in this thing? And um, I was trying to stick as close to the original design as possible and keep this build as simple as possible. Um, but the, so the answer to some of your questions might be yes. I just thought I would build it um, in its simple form first, and then we can come back and uh, look at adding any of these uh, little mods or tweaks, we might call them, that uh, could, en could enhance performance in certain scenarios. So stay tuned. I'm, uh, I'm, like I say, I'm into part six a little bit already and you'll uh, hopefully uh, this weekend you'll uh, you'll get part six so stay tuned everybody all right one last thing if you go out here on my website blueglow.net and you click on uh, sketches and info and if you scroll down um, through a few pages here you'll you'll get to the uh, single ended kt88 I have updated if you click on this link here I have updated the uh, bomb um, parts list I've also updated, if you'll notice now, we've got version 5 of the uh, power supply that has the uh, new updated drawings on it. So uh, just want to show you where that was at.